almost. The funk slower. I mean, oh, the light. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ready to see it. Ooh, look at this. The painted cabinets wow. make oh, such yeah. a big Whoa. difference. Just to give you an idea of what this RV looked like before that we did kind of our first renovation about a year ago. All right, so what are we getting ourselves into here? Well, this is gonna be called Reno phase two, but this is gonna be demo. <laughs> Just because after Stuart helped us out with the first stuff that he helped us out with, and we've got more on the to-do list. But one thing he mentioned when we just asked him any ideas or suggestions he had was taking this out. And so now I am just like, we have to rip it out. Like we just need to get it out. So we're gonna try taking this out and hope that it's not one of those things that was a big <laughs> mistake right before getting ready to get on the road because I don't know what's up here as far as wires and everything else, but we're about to find out. All right, let's find out. A few moments later. <laughs> this is where we need to make sure we have the right tool for the job. But when we took this cabinet down, there's these really large holes that are in the wall currently from these cords and stuff that were just run through here. And then whenever the manufacturer put the cabinets in, they're not too worried about aesthetics because they're being covered with cabinets. So we've got to fill these in. And at first, Ben's idea was just to use some spackle, which you can see works great on this small hole back <laughs> here. And you can see it doesn't work so great on these big holes because the hole is just too big. You can't spackle this in. Plus, the way that a lot of these RVs are manufactured is there's like a foam insulation in the walls and that's kind of how they're insulated and so more foam that's my solution more foam we're going to foam it because this is the proper tool for the job so all right hoping i don't make too big of a mess am i doing this right nothing's happening on, stop it's coming is it coming up there okay ah! easy easy does it you can get carried away quick and it foams up fast. Well, that's what I'm trying to... There's like some gaps behind the wall. Here's my dilemma right now. We're taking this off. Is that there's this wall behind here is not gonna be painted. And I'm gonna have to go find the paint to match it. Do you know where we put that paint? I don't because it's gonna be ugly. I mean, when you take this off, it's gonna be a big brown yeah. stripe. Yeah, we'll see and I don't know where the paint. paint is. More moments later. So how much foam is behind that cord right there? <laughs> I am okay. terrified now of what this is. Oh. That you much? You totally did it. Mm -hmm. See, he was, he was trying to, and this isn't even dry. It still isn't dry. On today's episode of What Not To Do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why we have you. Oh, well, That's why well, we have Mr. Yeah. We'll get it
I'm just I'm capturing this just to send to your wife to oh. give her proof that you can use a vacuum. Uh, to be fair, I vacuum 90% of the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> like a brand new RV almost. The bunk slower. I mean, wow. Oh, the light. Oh my gosh. This doesn't look like the same RV. There's way more light coming in. A ton more light. But it's nuts to think like that window was half covered before. Many tic tacs later. I'm gonna just kind of go over some of the changes in the finished product. So excited for kind of this big reveal. But a few things that we actually did on our own on the outside that I wanted to show you first before we step inside. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so the first thing I really wanted to do on the outside was to replace the headlights with LED lights because when we drove at night, we could not see very well at all. It was so dim, even with the fog lights on. So I did some research on some online forums and found the year and model of the headlight housing. And it was like a Ford Expedition. Was able to get the exact same housing in a brand new light fixture. And it was just plug and play. So I just had to unscrew the old one, put the new one in, and then put the LED light in, just match up all the wires and it was good to go. And I figured while I did that, I might as well put in some LED fog lights as well. So now when you turn on these lights, holy cow, it is very bright because all the light is now focused and is a ton brighter as well as more energy efficient. Okay, I'm super excited to show you the inside. But first, one thing I have to show you before we actually walk in that was part of this run out is these steps are completely new, completely redone. So what we had going on here before was just horrible, but a lot of it was because there is a carpeted flap that would sit over there for when you're driving down the road. We didn't really need it. So this little solution that Stuart did is amazing and I love it. All right, let's go inside. So there are so many things that changed in here that completely brightened it up. But one of my favorite changes in here is this slide trim. So this slide trim around all three slides here on the other side and in the bedroom. So this is all new and I feel like that this totally took at least 10 years off the age of this rig because of what was here before just looked very dated and this looks very kind of modern farmhousey type of feel. So this is one of the changes that Stuart helped us make on both of the slides. And then another huge change is all of this cabinetry that was painted. So we have these uppers that are white and then on the lowers, this the name of the color is called Urban Bronze, but as you can see, it's kind of a dark gray color. Now, one of the things that we chose to do and I wasn't so sure how it was gonna turn out was to reuse the original hardware. So the hinges and the handles are the original ones that were here before. And after that these were painted and he put all this back on, I was so happy that we decided to keep these because they look really nice and elegant. The colors just match really, really well. And of course it was a little bit of a cost savings as well, not having to purchase brand new hardware. If you saw our videos from a couple weeks ago, you saw that prior to this phase two of Renault, we installed this induction cooktop, got rid of the propane stove, and then added more storage down here. And so we'll put a link up above for the video where we talk more about this in depth when we made that change. Now, you saw just a little bit ago about the upper cabinet over on this side above the dinette. So I'm really excited with how that this turned out as far as the finished product goes. But we were able to add more of the peel and stick wallpaper on this side of the dinette. That cabinet is now gone, which just really opened up a lot of this to feel more nice and open. And then this light fixture, 
I'll put a link in the description below, but this came from Amazon and it is just a standard household light fixture with 12 volt light bulbs. So the light bulbs came from Amazon as well. I'll drop a link in case that you're interested in those. So another mod we did as part of this Reno phase two was these dimmable LED lights. Now these came from Leisure RV and I will put a link in the description for these below, but these are genius because they're actually dimmable LEDs. So you can change the brightness or you can turn down the brightness. Of course, just shut them off completely, but very nice for those evenings where you need some light, but maybe you don't want blinding light, <laughs> but also those times when you do want a nice bright light to see whatever it is that you're working on. So thanks to Leisure RV for sending those our way. We absolutely love them. And then we've got all of the new slide trim up here as well. And then the bunks. Some of you have wondered if we got rid of the bunks. The bunks are still here, but what Stuart was able to do was open these up more. So what it was like before was more of almost like a jail <laughs> that the kids felt a little bit like that they were in a small prison when they were in their beds. But now it's nice and open. And my daughter Trinity, who's up here, was so excited. She goes, I can actually give you a hug without having to crawl through the bars to give you a hug at night. So nice and open. And it just makes this whole living area feel so much more open with having that kind of opened up there. So the next thing that Stuart helped us accomplish was changing out the colors of the panels on the fridge. Now, if you have one of these four panel Norcold fridges, here is a hack that is pretty cool. So you can take this off, slide these panels out to paint them, and then slide them back in. <laughs> I'm having trouble, Ben. <laughs> You're gonna need Pop to help it back me. on. There you go. There. Okay. Snap it on. Pretty easy. Takes the magic. Even touch. though she didn't make it look that easy. <laughs> I know. You could make it look easier. So got this white to match, and then all of these areas that were a wood color before uh, we painted white. So this was kind of a wood color before. It's all nice and white and clean. Lower drawer is nice and white to just match the uh, painting on the rest of the cabinetry. So one of the things that was super cool that Stuart did here back in the bedroom, in addition to the new slide trim that is back here, is that he actually repurposed these closet doors. So one of the things that we really wanted was a different look. They, they were just plain mirrors, looked very dated. This whole track system up here was just kind of like a silver color. What we really would have loved would have been like the barn door look that you see in so many newer RVs but because of where our slide is and the clearance that is needed for our slide to come out, there's not the room to be able to put up that type of a track system and have the doors sit on the outside of the closet. They have to be where they are. So Stuart was just total MacGyver man <laughs> in coming up with this really cool mod. So these are the original closet doors painted and then with like a geometric pattern put over the top of them. So it gives it a really cool updated look and feel, repurposes what was there. So no waste or anything there. Behind me, all of this where it was kind of a wood color, all of this got painted with the cabinet paint, all of the cabinets that are down below this counter here got painted white as well. We had already painted the walls white during our first renovation about a year ago. So I'll put a link up above if you wanna watch that very first kind of reno video, just to give you an idea of what this RV looked like before that we did kind of our first renovation about a year ago. I'm gonna take you into the bathroom because right now, there's only been one change made to the bathroom from how it originally was. So it gives you a really good idea of how it might have looked before. Let's go look at the bathroom. Okay, so if you can see this lovely wallpaper and this lovely border and this lovely wood color, this is how it looked before. <laughs> so this is our last section of RV to do something renovation wise. Now, one thing that Stuart did in here that we needed badly was a different toilet. So Stuart installed this toilet that E-Trailer sent to us. 
And this is more like a household type toilet, is a ceramic base, not plastic, much easier to keep clean. So super thankful to eTrailer and uh, we, we'll put a link in the description below for eTrailer as well because we love all of the things that eTrailer carries, not just from hitches and things like that, but for other products for RV living and they've just got great support. So talking about the toilet is probably a great place to thank the sponsor of today's video, Unique Marine and RV, because now that we have switched over to their toilet cleaner and their drop-in pods, we have not had any more black tank smells. Now, an interesting thing is, is most people tend to use bleach products when they're cleaning the toilet. I know I have in my house and you just think you use bleach to clean toilets, but in an RV, bleach will kill the bacteria and having a healthy colony of bacteria in your black tank is actually part of what helps keep the smell down you kill all that bacteria and you're gonna start to have smells. So we now use the unique Camping Plus Marine cleaner, follow that up with the drop-in pods and no more black tank smells. We actually have 15% off for all of our viewers at the link in the description below for the complete lineup for unique camping and marine. Later. Okay, I'm ready to see. Ooh, look at this. The painted cabinets wow. make oh, such yeah. a big difference. Yeah. Those are painted, and this is all yeah. new? Yeah, so all the slide trim's new. So he pulled down all the old slide trim awesome. and then retrimmed the slides. The bunk beds, that looks fantastic. This feels, mm -hmm. this is really tall right here. It feels that way. We actually, we overbuilt these bunks a little. So he modified this and brought it down a oh, little bit really? of a level okay. here so that it just felt more open. Nice. And then we took out the propane stove. Ooh, fancy. It's gonna be so much easier to clean. So there's no more propane stove. Yes. And then this is an induction cooktop. I actually made biscuits and gravy when we were in the Keys. Wow. And I put, I made the biscuits in here and they turned out just fine. And so wow, in place of the propane stove. Look at all that storage. Yeah, that's awesome. We gained Tons this. of storage. Because you used to no. have cabinets up here, mm -hmm. right? There were cabinets all along there. Yeah, I like, remember that. Kind of like these ones here. Yep. So we lost all of that yep. with making this look more open. Did you just design that? He, okay, so he modded this. So this actually, this like shelf thing, he found at Home Depot and amazingly, like it was the exact size pretty much that it needed to be. And so he made, he built this drawer front. Okay, to match everything else. Yep, to Made match it. everything else. Like, I mean, he had like a little router on his truck and everything to like route the trim to make it look like the same fronts as everything else. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, That's a total fail. Oh, man. Hey. That's a total fail. Come on, just spray it down in there. There you go. Good thing with a sprayer. If you'd like to take a look at some tra tra So if you have any questions about RV renovation, now we're not the experts, but we have learned a thing or two, so you can drop those in the comments below. We'll definitely answer any questions that you guys leave there. We'll also have a link below for Stuart Thompson with Thompson RV Services and Living Small, Dreaming Big, because he was a huge help on this project and something we definitely could have not tackled all of this on our own. So we're very thankful to have had Stuart's help in this particular phase two of renovation. One last thing, our experiences over things, hoodies and t-shirts are on our website link below for that as well. If you'd like to see more videos with renovation phase one, you can check those out right up here. If you'd like to take a look at some family travel vlog videos, you can check those out right up here. Make sure that you're following us on Instagram here. We've got some fun short videos there and subscribe here because we've got more reno coming your way. If we don't see you out on the road or at the campground, we'll see you in the next video.